Well, if you're applying for a new concealed carry permit, be prepared to wait. We're getting a look at how new laws impact people applying for pistol permits in Monroe County. Alex Love joins us in the studio with an overview from the county clerk and course instructors. Alex. Well, Teresa, since the Concealed Carry Improvement Act was passed by the state lawmakers last year, county officials and those who teach the mandatory classes have noticed a severe drop in applicants for concealed carry permits. When you call the Monroe County Pistol Permit Office, a recording informs you to wait anywhere from 9 to 16 months for your application to be processed. But lately, Clerk Jamie Romeo noticed the wait times dropping. Six to eight months, sometimes to a year that it can take, but oftentimes it depends on some of the background investigation that has to go on. There is still some cases that are getting processed from the surge from 2021, and then we did see a little bit prior to the new law taking effect. Uh, those are still working their way through law enforcement background and also the courts. Course instructors like David Jenkins of Rochester Personal Defense believes the shorter wait time is due to a severe drop in new applicants since the laws were updated. As of June 1st, from what I hear, just under 300 people have applied, whereas this time last year it was 700 or so. I think a lot of it is the cost of the course and the, the time factor of the course. they got to take two long days out of their life. Besides completing an 18-hour course over a two-day period, the new laws also require applicants to share their social media activity and who they live with. Despite these new requirements, Jenkins says more people from Rochester are seeking permits. Because of what's been going on in the city lately, it's, um, and the general comment is uh, the, uh, the, there's no control in the city. It's, it's a free-for-all right now, and people are scared. Once law enforcement has had time to, and resources to do that step, they then send all that information in the file to the licensing officer, which is the courts. Ultimately, it is the judge that will make that decision of whether to grant or deny the application. Cashier, five, six. So far, David Jenkins of Rochester Personal Defense says they haven't had anybody fail these mandatory courses by the state since the law went into effect. Through them, the certification process costs $325, but it doesn't have to be paid all at once. Teresa. Alex, thank you. These new state regulations do not apply to anyone applying for a permit to keep a gun at home.